So what exactly is the last, what's the last good movie you watched? Because you more watch, like, read, you read a lot of Chinese novels and so forth. More so than I do, so. Oh, Lord. All right, let me, let me. Probably, probably your first Doctor Strange. Your first Doctor Strange, really? Okay, last one they watched this one. Doctor Strange is good, but like the anime, the one that they did in the What F went off on a tangent for me. So, if it, it, Doctor Strange, no Doctor Strange in general is go off on a tangent. The first Doctor Strange movie, I liked it. The second Doctor Strange movie, I actually had as don't for anybody who's watching this, this is might be like a spoiler just in case you haven't watched the movie. I had no problem with what all of the stuff that happened in the movie. It was just, you know, when they did Reed Richards, Black Bolt, and um, and like some of the fight and Wanda's fight scenes. Some of them I found a little bit underwhelming. It was nerfed, and I'm talking like severely nerfed because. I didn't want, not Dragon Ball Z. I wasn't yeah, looking for. Dragon Ball Z, because that's I am not thinking that. When it came to Black Bolt's powers, how they did it was the typical way that they showcase like sonic powers. All you just see is the person shouting and a ring of energy appearing, and it looked like it was it was lazily done. No, it wasn't lazily done. It was probably not Black Bolt. You remember? It was multiverse, right? Yeah. I I would have preferred. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, this is somebody who actually compares the Marvel Universe to Cyclops. Yeah. You know how much Cyclops versus Cyclops is? It just goes. No, no, it just goes. You know that's amazing. You don't see it until it hits something. Really? You realize that? At Cyclops versus Cyclops in space, you will see Cyclops in the distance. You see his like the flash. And it's only when it hits something that you see it. Oh, wow. Not realize that. <laughs> I would. A lot of space in the atmosphere, you don't see his blast properly. That actually makes it more terrifying, yes. But for me, what made the movie downplayed Black Bolt to me was those Sonic Rings. If they had oh, just. Did they, did they have the Inhumans short series in Sonic Fox? Yeah, but that one was. They didn't really utilize his powers in that one, that sort of way. So I couldn't really. It wasn't as appreciated as it could have been in in Doctor Strange. All I wanted, and this is me, right? I, I don't. I am just saying from my my perspective. All I wanted for Doctor for the Black Bolt character is him to whisper, you know, like just say enough, and you just hear like you know, like and you just. Instead of going with visual effects, you know, you just had auditory effects. They can't do that. They can do what they can do that. So, you ever had a problem hearing something in cinema? Yeah. That's probably the problem that they can't do that. So, at the cinema, it's more, almost dead quiet at that moment. And you hear somebody whisper in, and then you hear a loud noise right after. You want to have people leave that cinema partially dead. Is okay. I can I can bear with that, but as for like the vi- visual, visual, the visual effects, they didn't even need to do that much. All they needed to do was like a rippling, you know, like a show a wave of energy. But it's like the issue with um, even if they leave it as him whispering. No, but it's like the issue with Professor X and Jean Grey. So Jean Grey is a real power telepath. Even though it's not when Jean Grey moves something really big in like action, it just moves. Yeah. By the comments, you see the actual psionic glow on it. Yeah. That's the issue. They actually tried the psionic glow on the like, back of stuff before, and it flopped in the cinema waters. Oh, okay. I, too cheesy. I, I, will, I will be honest with you. So the, when I get to it, some degrees of Green Lantern, because all Green Lantern worked. Right. Green Lantern movie was also one that I had I didn't have a problem with, except for like the, the ending where he was doing his power up. Yeah, when he was starting to say the, the lantern's oath, I would have liked it if instead of him just saying it, it was reverberating around, you know, like around the city. That would have made it more epic. Yeah, 
in my opinion. That doesn't happen even in the comics. It does. No, nobody asked about him that hurt. You remember this either? No, no I'm talking, I got it from like the John Jones storyline when he was yeah. like. Now, nah, see, you go look at. You, you, you're, 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 you're picking and choosing from somewhere else. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking more. I'm how I'm I'm using John Jones when I'm uh, sorry, John Stewart when I should be thinking about how. Okay, I, I get you. I get you. I get you. That's what I mean. Because that's actually the problem that Marvel has. Marvel okay. will look at a series of people that have a certain power and they can choose how to order some things for the people. It's true. That's why. But well, anyway, I will leave that part.